All right, what's going on, everybody? Happy New Year. Happy 2022. I'm still not used to saying that yet, but it's just days into the new year, I guess. Um, so, um, as many of you may know, I recently uh, finished working on my webcomic, and I currently have my buffer complete. But that's already um, caused a new concern for me, and that's why I'm doing this video. Also, the artwork that you can see in the background right now. I realized that I've been doing so much time working on the comic itself that I really don't have a lot of material or work outside of actual pages of the comic itself to really promote it. So my train of thought right now is to just take this about three, almost four month buffer that I have and use that to create some more content, create some different images, et cetera, et cetera, just to have something to put on social media, or put elsewhere, maybe use it in one of the books or anything. I'm not sure when it may come in handy, but I need to do a lot more promoting of the comic itself and making artwork specifically for that purpose will probably be for the better. And it makes sense. The comic isn't, com it's finished, but as far as people actually reading the pages, it's not which also for the record, I plan on having the final chapters of the comic if anybody wanted to read it ahead of time on my Gumroad website. Plan on doing that by the 15th of January. Um, but this is the perfect time for me to actually start having this concern because working on my new comic, I need to be aware now that as I continue working on the comic and getting things done as far as that's concerned, I need to, I don't know, actually start putting in the work to promote the comic since I wasn't doing that as much while making it. So I still have an opportunity to keep plugging away at that. But the mistake that I hope to avoid with my new comic is to try to have some artwork along the way. Even if it's nothing more than in between chapters, just taking a while to make artwork specifically for the comic just to use as promotion for social media and whatnot. I just don't want to be pigeonholed into using the actual pages from the comic itself to show on social media. And then it also gives me a way to draw a few more of the characters from my comic because it's not like I'm going to be drawing them as much in the future because there wouldn't be a reason to. But it gives me an excuse to create more original artwork with the characters from my comic just to show some stuff off. Because my biggest mindset now is, okay, I finished the comic, but now I can actually put some effort into trying to get more people to read it. I can use these next three months just planning ahead in a way that makes some type of sense. In other news, I'm actually working along just fine on my new comic, or at least the one shot of my new comic that I'm working on. Um, I kind of need to do character turnarounds just so I have it in my head what these characters are supposed to look like from different angles because I almost started working on the comic itself without having a full range of different views of what the character looked like. I'm not trying to figure that out on the fly. I've made that mistake before. Yeah, I currently have that going on and then I'm still trying to rack my brain as to how I'm going to go about making this comic and getting it online. My initial thought of just drawing it straight on the computer just in a a drawing program or art program um i don't feel comfortable doing that and i don't know i could take the time to actually get comfortable doing it just by drawing more and like uh straight on the page but i don't know that's just too long of a process i feel like i'm at the computer way too much i, I do it enough already um actually drawing on pencil and paper is much better for me but my concern is i waste too much time drawing it in multiple steps drawing it on paper, scanning it in, doing the line art over again, and then painting over that another time, I feel like I can sort of shrink down the extra hassle from doing that. So my thought process is to actually start inking pages after I draw them, and then scanning that in and coloring it from there if I need to, or just cleaning up the file. I've never done that before, but I'm gonna attempt to do that now just to see how it works. And if none of these things work, I'm going back to the way that I've been originally doing comics. So yeah, 
uh we'll see like i said i've given myself time i'm not trying to rush getting this comic out i just want it to be i don't know i want to have a handle on how it looks and have some chapters done at least before 2023 giving myself about a year's cushion that should be well enough for me because i have a habit i have a habit of just rushing stuff out there so yeah that's where my head's at there for right now but other than that um like I said, I'm working on the one shot and when I get those moments where I'm not necessarily drawing on that, I've just been making content for infin uh, Infinite Uppercut. That's not a thing. Infinite Uppercut, um, it's always nice to forget the name of your comic as you're talking. Anyways, making content for Infinite Uppercut to get that out, to start promoting it more on social media. And I'm trying to get back in the habit of actually scheduling time to do that every day. Hopefully I can keep that up, but um, well, no, hopefully I need to keep that up. But in any event, that's enough babbling for me today. I'm gonna continue to get back to work cause I have a lot of drawing to do. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you haven't, and you all have a good one and I'm out.